Welcome to my presentation, um, which is held every Sunday morning. Um, today, my topic is, which is contingent and very uh, relevant issue at this moment, since we got a letter email from Father Michael Peterson, who is a vocation director. Uh, the topic is related about the, the green card delay, which uh, make an impact to some of the junior ed and um, some senior monks, both two senior monks too. So I'd like to uh, spend just about some less than eight minutes uh, and then the rest of the seven minutes which, uh, during the Sunday morning, we'll have some brainstorm, what would be a kind of solution from our side, which we can control um, within the boundary of uh, we, uh, we can make an impact, we can make a change. So the, um, today, uh, I'd like to begin with a legal advisor disclaimer and issue presented, assuring information, what can we do now, and some of our possible proposals. So the information contained in this site is provided for informational purpose only. It's, it could not be considered as a legal advice, particularly kind of applied to each individual client or some kind of possible kind of prospective client whatsoever. So you should not act or refrain from acting on the basis of any content included in this site without seeking legal or your personal or Abby assigns or Abby hires any kind of legal advice attorney for their professional advice. So I analyze in three aspects from the current issues. So evidently it's um, the delay of the time issue, the delay of uh, issuance of the green card. So it is because uh, the, what happened and what is in, in kind of crucial at this time is before COVID-19, it takes uh, six months for Abby to apply the petition to hire or to keep one monk into the member of the health community. However, uh, during the COVID time, the process takes a long, drastic, drastically requires more than six months. Currently, it hits us 19 months to take. And the second thing is about, it also affects the formation of a junior monks um, for foreign, uh, who is a foreign citizen, not a non-US citizen. Um, evidently, that affects me too. Um, and the third issue is like some, something related to issue, our that delay issue is also related to it, the work permit after we received the first term of five year long green card because the EAD, which is a work permit, which has to be a separate procedure too. And also it related to, to issue to get the driver's license in the state of Minnesota. And also it relates to, to issue some of the ID, identification card. So let me share the information. Um, each month, USCIS, in line with the State Department, issue visa bulletin monthly. And in that bulletin, the information regarding the quota, depending on the types of immigrant visa and the priority date of filing application. So only those applicants whose employer successfully receives the approval of petition to sponsor one month's green card application through the so Abby files ICE 360 form before the priority date can be allowed to apply for green card. So monk can submit the application form after the approval of Abby's petition. Um, to change his status from religious worker status to permanent resident status. According to May 2023, since Father Michael Peterson's email, I also uh, checked the update of, from the USCIS. They already signed, um, issued that visa bulletin in May 2023. Still, the priority date of religious worker green card is October 1st, 2018. This means that St. Joe's Abbey should get approval of its petition to hire foreign monks, um, foreign citizens, before October 1st, 2018. Presumably, if any monks is ready to apply for a green card 
this is a 15 month, five months prior from today. This matters because the longest time of a legal residence of a monk with religious worker visa is 42 months. So one issue, issuance of the religious worker visa, which is AKA called R1, R-1, it's 30 months, two months and a half years. And it also has additional six months long grace period after the expiration. So, and that R1 visa can be renewed once. So the formula is 30 months multiplied two because it can be renewed by ones. And monks can apply the green card after two years. So 30 months multiplied by two minus two years plus the six months of a grace period, which means 42 months. But the visa bulletin says 55 months before today, the Abbey have to apply for the petition. So before COVID, as I told you, the I-30, the approval of I-30 by Abby, the petition by Abby takes only six months on average. So what we can do now, I made some research and some of the police brief of uh, some Catholic Legal Immigration Network, which is the biggest and the largest uh, Catholic legal network and legal clinic. Um, particularly the religious worker, they have a client of 800 religious worker, brothers and sisters and fathers from, from foreign countries. Um, they had 2021, they produced a policy brief and they proposed a five solutions out of this issue. Um, created some religious immigration stakeholder, a stakeholder group, some kind of ongoing conversation with the government and making more forms eligible for premium processing. For example, when we receive the religious worker visa, every petition only takes two weeks because we filed a premium processing by paying additional fee. And treat religious workers the same as other employment categories. For example, H-1B visa for business, they only takes 10 months, but a religious worker is, is not favorable, kind of a, we are underprivileged compared to other visa categories. And increase the employee authorization document uh, automatic extension from 18, 180 days to 240 days. That's the additional issue after receive the um, green card because we have to have an additional separate EAD for full-time work permit. So I'll explain later. And clarify its policy and requirement regarding nonprofit expedite request. So that means that the premium processing um, that it's an expedite request to get as early as a two, within two two weeks. That's a kind of possible policy proposal. Well, as a monk in Saint Joseph, what we can do is um, probably we have a kind of collective action as a voice of a U.S. Catholic, how we are benefited as a U.S. Catholic people in the United States by those foreign citizen monks, fathers, brothers, and sisters. Realistically, in short-term goal and more conservative aim could be just go back to six months before COVID time. And if it is a six months long, most of the power can be sold. And the current constraint is Biden government at this moment of time, today is May and somewhere around the June or late, late June or July, many of the media coverage says about some possible bankruptcy of the government because of the huge deficit. So it, that being said, we cannot call for some kind of a budget um, for, for the CIS improvement over the processing uh, working environment. And Third one is to make our united opinion as an American Cassinist congregation, asking some solidarity about other Benedictines in the United States, like a Swiss American congregation and sisters congregation, in order to make a one voice both um, to the USCCB, because USCCB deals with, they have some subdivision of immigration chair and consecrated life and vocation chair. So in the name of a USCCB, um, 
we hope they can have some statement up to address this issue to call for some media and kind of a general opinions. And USCCB announces a statement of green card delay for foreign monks. That's our, in my point of view, that we have to have a one voice. Our realistic proposal would be the introduction of premium processing in I-364, which only takes two weeks. So depending on the kind of a seniority, uh, stasio and experiences, kind of maturity of experiences, I kind of um, make some different approach uh, to draw attention. So send a letter ever President Jonathan Nicari uh, to have to set up some of the agenda into our congregational management. And to also drawing attention in a kind of grassroots level, drawing attention to other junior monks in our congregation and outside our congregation during summer junior camp. And also um, establish some of um, congregation size, congregation wise, some kind of a walking group to help the foreign monks in terms of some of the visa issues. And Father uh, Michael Peterson addressed and initiated some of um, our campaign to to collect some of our signature um, today and tomorrow on um, Wednesday and Thursday. That's Good idea, great idea. And where to send our letter and whom to send a letter, um, that should be, a, I, I think personally, I think how we can make kind of an advocacy in a, in a more smarter way. So we can talk about it um, in our Sunday discussion time. So uh, to wrap it up, I would like to back to the, um, the comment from uh, the chair of uh, USCCB immigration chair, that he is a bishop, cites immigrants had had the experience of uh, living every, everything that helped them to feel at home and secure in this life behind and to defend utterly, utterly on God as they journey. Thank you.